I was only four years old when I announced that I was going to make venomous snakes my life's work, and somehow I've managed to turn that childhood passion into a career, and I reckon the world would be a lot nicer place if more people followed their childhood dreams. Like the first one I got was a map showing Antarctica and Australia, and that was to commemorate my trip down to Antarctica, obviously there. And then from there I got biohazard tattoos, I got adrenaline on the back of my neck, I got Komodo dragon CT scans looking like weird angel wings, and then I have a huge abstract snake on my back as well. So they're all very deeply personal to me, and they're not sort of normal tattoos. If you know of anybody who takes high blood pressure medication, odds are they're taking a class of compound that interferes with the angiotensin converting enzyme, so they're called ACE inhibitors. The founding member of this was a drug called Caprapril, which is actually a modified snake toxin. So here we have a major drug class that's all derivatives of a snake toxin, and this is an annual market of $10 billion. And you cannot overemphasize the medical importance of this. It has saved countless lives. So it gives me an opportunity to see not just these creatures that I find so amazing and so wonderful, but also to see nature while it's still out there, you know, before it's completely destroyed. I'd say my science hero is David Attenborough because he is a scientist, he's a trained ornithologist, he's a trained bird researcher, in fact he was the head of the British Ornithology Society for many years, and he's mastered the art of science communication, of distilling very complex subjects down to words that anybody can understand, but without sensationalizing it, stepping back, dropping his own personal adrenaline down a bit, and letting nature tell its own story. Субтитры